Okay, so today I'm reviewing the HD box, which is a capture card by Mira Box. Okay, let's get into it. Here's the manual. Also comes with a warranty card. Here's the actual box. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And under here is a cable, USB to USB. Put that back in there. This is it outside of the packaging. Mirror box HD video capture USB 3.0. It has a US uh, HDMI out, HDMI in, and USB 3.0 connector. At this point, I connected the capture card to the computer via USB cable. And now I'm gonna insert the HDMI cables. Now what I did is I connected the in to my Nintendo Switch, and then the out to the television. And it is displaying the same screen. The software that I'm using for the capture device is OBS. You can actually download it for free. And now I'm gonna test to see how it actually records and streams. Okay, now I'm recording. Uh, some Switch gameplay, Super Mario Maker 2. And on the streaming software, it looks pretty okay. It's not, it's not like buttery. It's not as buttery as it looks on the screen, but it looks, it doesn't look bad. Like, like the colors seem good and it's not too bad. I do want to mention I was trying to stream earlier and it wasn't working quite that great. I don't know if that's the box or my internet connection, but um, I'm not going to blame the box for it because it very well could be my internet connection. But uh, as far as recording looks, it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to play a little bit more of this level just to see what it looks like after it's finished recording. But for now, it's, it's not too bad. And for a price point of $99, this isn't, if this like actually works, sorry, I'm bad at this game. But if, that, if this actually works pretty well, I'd say it's worth the money, the mushroom. And as for audio, I'm not sure if it's recording the game audio, but uh, I do have the microphone on my laptop, which is currently recording my voice. If it works, it works. This is like a great way to get started if you just want to stream a couple games. Like I'm not sure how this would handle high frame rate, high like graphic capability games. Like cuz this is just like a what, what what like a 8-bit game. So this is like way down there and it's like this is already kind of i'm not sure what's gonna look like in post but right now it looks kind of like jerky like it's losing some frames but uh i have no idea how that would bode with a a game that takes like a lot more oh i don't think a lot more uh power let, let, let's let's try that real quick Curious. So if we were to play a game like uh, You know what let, let's try Smash. See how that goes. So right now I'm booting up Super Smash Brothers Ultimate just to see how it would look on a card like this. This is the opening cutscene. So 
So I'm gonna skip that for now and get some gameplay. Go with Link. Oh, let's go over my PC. Right now, from what I can see, it looks pretty good, but we'll see what it looks like during gameplay. It might be a little bit worse, but I don't know. Hey, so here's my final thoughts on the card. I like it overall. It does the job. It, it's great with recording. And by the way, I noticed the audio isn't playing right now. And I think that's something in the settings because when I tried the stream earlier, audio was playing through the stream. So it can definitely uh, record audio as well as video through the HDMI. But um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty good card. I'm not sure how it would do with like higher res games, like something like from a PlayStation or an Xbox or PlayStation Pro or Xbox One or whatever. But um, as far as like the Nintendo Switch, it's really good for that. And that's what I would use it for, to be honest. Like if you're just planning on playing like lower res games that don't take a lot of, that aren't really like a lot of frames or like really super HD, uh, this card would work for you. And, and uh, I'm running this on my PC, which, is actually not even a, a PC. It's uh, my Surface Pro 4, and it has, I think, an i5, and it's like, it handles it pretty well. It gets a little hot, but if you have something higher than that, or like an actual full body laptop, uh, you should be fine, because that's what I was using, and the recording came out fine. The streaming was a little bad, but I'm assuming that's because of my internet connection. Overall, I think this is a good price for that piece of, for this piece of tech. Uh, if you're willing to spend a little bit more, I'd probably go with the Elgato HD60S, which I've heard that is a better uh, video capture card. And Elgato has a lot of software to integrate with that, as well as like a whole ecosystem of different products you can pair it with. But as for this, it's like just a little uh, Chinese made capture card. Uh, the Mirabox HD capture is actually pretty decent. And those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll leave the link in the description for the card, like the Amazon link, so if you want to purchase it, you can. But other than that, I'll see you later.